Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture, we have to discuss TFE unit sizing and selection. So after the end of this lecture, you would be able to understand the steps for TFA unit sizing and selection. Then we have to discuss the example of, uh, I will show you the example of two TFA treated fresh air unit sizing and selection. So let's start. Okay, so now here we have to discuss, uh, I will show you the step. Uh, what are the steps which we have to follow to find out the TFA unit sizing? Okay. So in that, the first step is to determine the fresh, fresh air requirement. Okay. The fresh air requirements generally depends on the type of occupancy and building standards. For instance, ASHRAE 62.1 provides the required outdoor air flow rate based on the type of building, example offices, hospitals and the number of occupants also. So here you can see the formula is given to find out the required fresh air. So formula is what we have. Uh, in this formula QFA is the required fresh air in cubic feet per minute. Capital N is the number of occupant. QP is the fresh air required per person means cubic uh, CFM per person. Okay. Capital A is the area of space in square feet. QA fresh air required per unit area in CFM per square feet. So in short you can say fresh air CFM is equal to CFM per person into number of people plus CFM per square feet into area. So here uh, these are the formula which we have to prefer to find out the required fresh air CFM. So here I will show you one example how we are calculating the fresh air. But before that let's see what is actually fresh air. Fresh air is what? Atmospheric air sucked by machine is called as a fresh air. So here we are doing the sizing for TFA treated fresh air unit. So the fresh air means the atmospheric air sucked by the TFA unit is called as a fresh air. And fresh air is a necessity for both physical and mental health. Na? In some, bu some building if uh, indoor air is recirculated due to which impurities may be breathed in again and again which include indoor pollution and high level of carbon dioxide level. So this will create poor indoor air quality and to avoid this fresh air is supplied as per the number of occupants and the area of the space. So to find out the fresh air CFM already I have discussed according to ASHRAE 62.1 ventilation standard they have given the formula fresh air CFM is equal to CFM per person into number of people plus CFM per square feet into area of that space in a square feet. So here by using this formula we have to calculate the required fresh air. So here I will show you one example so it will very easy for you. Uh, suppose let's say here one problem is given. In this problem uh, we need to calculate the fresh air requirement for classroom. Okay for age of 9 plus of area 600 square feet. So what they are telling. Here we have one classroom. In that classroom, plus nine ages students are there inside the classroom. Okay. Total area of that classroom is 600 square feet. Now, simply to calculate the fresh air CFM, tell me what is the formula? CFM per person into number of people plus CFM per square feet into area. Now, the question is from where we get the CFM per person? I have already explained you from the ASHRAE ventilation standard 62.1 uh, you will get the CFM per person value outdoor air per person value okay now number of people number of people remember as per furniture layout as per furniture layout you will get the number of people value let's say you will get the AutoCAD file from the architect site now in your classroom if suppose the desk bed, bench table are there. So as for furniture layout you can easily identify okay that much number of people are there. But let's say in case if furniture layout is not given. So the next option is to ask architect or interior decorator. Okay you have to ask with the architect interior decorator or client to give the 
how many number of people we have to consider because exact we can't say na but let's say from there also if you are not getting any response so the last option from the ashray ventilation standard we can easily calculate the number of people i will explain here you can see the minimum ventilation zone zone in breathing zone here the table is we have taken from the ashray ventilation standard 62.1 you can see in the first column occupant occupancy category is given like educational facility so we are designing we are calculating the required fresh air cfm for classroom age plus 9 so see for that when you see here how many number of people are uh, sorry cfm per person value is given 10 and cfm per square feet value 0.12 can you see even the occupant density means the number of people is also given for every 1000 square feet area means always in the classroom plus 9 ages student for 1000 square feet area how many people we have to consider 35 so let's say if in our case our classroom area is 600 square feet so if for 1000 square feet area number of people is 35 so for 600 square feet area number of people is how much let's say x you have to do the cross multiplication so you will get the value so same this value we have to substitute So here CFM per person from the table we have got ten CFM per square feet zero point one two already I have shown you to find out the number of people same way from the table you have to see that uh, for one thousand square feet we have to consider thirty five number of people na here I have written but our total area when you see in the question is six hundred square feet so for six hundred square feet how many number of people let's say x do the cross multiplication here you will get the number of people value twenty one okay area is six hundred square feet now substitute this value in the formula so you will get two eighty two cfm this is your fresh air requirement now I hope you have understood. how to determine the fresh air cfm okay so now uh, the second step uh, which we have to follow here uh, cooling load calculation okay the cooling load includes both sensible and latent heat load due to the introduction of fresh air so to calculate this sensible heat load here we have a formula 1.08 into fresh air requirement into t outdoor minus t indoor where to t outdoor is what outdoor air temperature t indoor is the indoor air temperature simple same way now if you want to calculate the latent heat load the formula is 0.68 into fresh air requirement into change in humidity ratio means grain of moisture difference okay clear this thing grain of moisture difference is calculated from the humidity level so this is the second step now once if you have calculated the sensible heat load latent heat load now we need the total load so once the total cooling load is calculated you have to use the coil performance data from manufacturers uh, to select a coil that can handle the required sensible and heating load air flow rate and static pressure so ensure the coil has the required capacity for both sensible and latent heat at the entering air condition clear this is the third step now the next step select the heating coil if required so let's say if the location experiences cold weather a heating coil may be necessary to preheat the air so same process here to calculate the heating load um, you can see the formula is written the heating coil should be sized based on the temperature rise required to bring the outdoor air to the desired supplier temperature so that is why i am using the formula of sensible heat load calculation because the heating coil should be sized based on the temperature rise required to bring the outdoor air to the desired supplier temperature formula is written here t supply is the supplier temperature okay is it clear so in this way we have to find out we have to select the heating coil now next step is the humidification or dehumidification if necessary 
so depending on the indoor humidity requirement and the outdoor air condition the tfa unit may require humidification or dehumidification to find out the humid uh, dehumidification load formula is written here 4840 into fresh air requirement into v w desire minus w outdoor what is this then humidity load how to calculate so formula is similar but the focus is on adding moisture formula is similar okay only you have to focus on the moisture content okay let's see here uh, q dehumidification means dehumidification load in b2 per hour qfa in this formula is fresh air flow rate in cfm w desire is the desire humidity ratio in grain of moisture per pound of dry air okay w outdoor is the outdoor humidity ratio in grain of moisture per pound of dry air clear and 4840 is a constant that converts the unit to be two per hour based on typical condition okay so in this way you have to calculate the dehumidification load humidification load if necessary now the next step is the fan selection so the fan in the tfa unit must be capable capable of overcoming the total static pressure first you have to do the static pressure calcul external static pressure calculation okay which include the pressure drop across the coil or heating coil filter duct work first we have to calculate the pressure drop in duct work okay this all once you will get the total static pressure so based on that from the different manufacturer catalog you will do the fan selection based on air flow rate and external static pressure second is the filter selection so you have to choose the appropriate filter mer v rating based on air quality requirement okay for example now let's see one example here so you will understood clear how we have to do the sizing so as i told you here one uh, problem is given let's say uh, let's let us a size of tfa unit for a 5000 square feet office with 50 occupants in a region uh, where the outdoor temperature is 95 degree fahrenheit and the indoor temperature which we have to maintain uh, suppose 75 degree fahrenheit okay the fresh air requirement per person is suppose from the HVA 62.1 we have calculated 20 CFM and the fresh air requirement per square feet is 0 0.06 CFM per square feet. Correct. Now first we have to determine the fresh air CFM and all of you know the formula CFM per person into number of people into C plus CFM per square feet into area. When you substitute this formula, this value, see number of people, how much? Uh, see. It is given 50 occupants so i have substituted that value qp cfm per square feet per person sorry is 20 we have written area total area of is here 5000 square feet into cfm per square feet value 0 0.06 so when you substitute 1300 cfm this is our fresh air requirement okay now just calculate the sensible heat load it is very easy by using this formula just substitute the value here uh, already we have calculated the fresh air requirement i have written 1300 t outdoor is given outdoor temperature how much 95 indoor 75 so here uh, sensible heat is near about 28080 btu per hour now calculate the latent heat only the factor will change here some changes are there okay uh, let's say assume the grain of moisture difference is 30 because actually to calculate the humidity ratio value the mean this is the all of you know this is the properties of air to calculate that you have to use the psychometric chart for that okay so when you uh, enter any two any two property in the psychometric chart okay so the remaining all other property will chart uh, that software will give okay so suppose let's say in this case i'm assuming the grain of moisture difference is 30 so when you substitute here you will get the latent heat loads 26,520. Now calculate the total cooling load. Add both of them. Approximate how much now? We have got 54,600. This is a total cooling load. If you want this in TR, so just divide by 12,000. 
the value you will get near about approximately 4.55 ton of cooling capacity correct this is our total cooling load so now you can select the cooling coil okay a cooling coil with a capacity how much around 5 ton should be selected to handle the load then select the heating coil if winter condition apply so if outdoor air let's say drop to 40 degree Fahrenheit in winter and the desired supply temperature is 70 so by using this formula you can easily calculate the heating load value now you have to do the fan selection so choose a fan that can handle the required uh, 1300 CFM because we have calculated 1300 CFM now required fresh air CFM and overcome the static pressure you have to calculate the external static pressure also for fan selection based on airflow static pressure you will get the from the different manufacturer catalog you can select the fan model number everything so by following this step you can size and select a suitable tfa unit for your project so now the topics which we have covered first we have discussed in detail about each and every step to find out the for a uh, TFA unit sizing and selection then I have also shown you the example calculation of TFA unit sizing and selection so this is all about and TFA unit sizing and selection I hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one